October 4th. Uh, when the game launches, it'll be three new heroes. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That's a, like a slightly disappointing. It's a, not as many as many people hoped, but um, I, I think it's become quite relevant that, that most of their production time was on PvE. And I think this is what people are going to hard latch on to and meme. Like, this is where people... This is where all the people that absolutely hate Overwatch and they hate everything about it, but they play it six hours a day are going to latch on to. They're going to latch on to this right here. Uh, and they're going to constantly be like, oh, you know, uh, three years for three heroes? Uh, what the fuck? You know, like, I get it, dude. Like, I get it. Like, you're, you're poking a hole in the one thing you can poke a hole in, right? Like, I fucking get it. But... Then you don't look at this, 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 and this, and this. That's why this has been, a, this is a massive W. Is, 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 like, we finally, one, have communication. We have a roadmap. We have a look at when we're going to get the game and when we get to play it. We have an idea of what they're going to do, like, from a, a dev standpoint. Like, we have Mythic Skin, which I think is going to be, like, our new... Uh, like how an Apex heirlooms, like I think are heirlooms. Common L battle pass, yeah, that's just pepeg as fuck. If you if you look at today's game market, every game that's successful has a battle pass, and the reason for that isn't because of the battle pass, it's because of the the want to have more content. Um, like for example, Halo just slapped a battle pass on and then didn't make content. Like no shit, the fucking game failed. Like that's not the point. Like the point isn't the game of the battle pass existing. The, the point is the battle pass encourages them to make more and more content, which means that we don't go into content drought ever again. That's the point. Problem is, is you're probably not going to play the game all the time. Then you're going to get upset. You don't get certain things, but that's just how life works. If you don't grind for certain things, you're not going to get them. If you want to buy them, you can buy them. But like Overwatch at this point is an unsustainable model that you get everything for free. Like that's just not how the real world works. There's a reason why our game fell apart is because there was no incentive for them to make us stuff. Beta signups are now live. Oh, ha, 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 look at this. Oh, man, request beta access. Opt in for the beta. A new age of heroes is just beginning to help make Overwatch 2 the best game it can be. We're inviting you to sign up to participate in the beta test for PC, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4. Each account can only opt in once. Choose your preferred platform below to ac request access. Here we go. Thanks for signing up, Flats. Hey, no problem, man. All right, chat. So if you haven't already, go sign up. Go sign up. I had access to the first Overwatch 2 PvP beta. Will I roll automatically to the next beta? Beta access does not roll over to the over previous Overwatch 2 PvP beta. For the upcoming beta, our main goal is to test our console and cross-play capabilities as we scale up server testing slowly. So, if you didn't already know, console is in this next beta. Because of this, we need to select players based on part of their platform choice, so we're launching in a new opt-in process which tracks player platform preference. How do I get into the beta? The new opt-in web is uh, available to on playoverwatch.com slash beta, slated to stay open until June 28th, unless we hit our projected maximum server capacity earlier. We'll select a small group of players where the beta goes live on June 28th at 11 a.m. PDT, and we'll steadily add more players over time as we ramp up capacity. The first waves are of larger access granted begin or plan to begin on July 5th. Our goal is to provide access to all players that opt into the beta by no later than July 14th. So if you get in, if you sign up, they want to have everyone have a chance to get in. Players who purchase Overwatch 2 uh, Watchpoint Pack... Wait. People players who purchase the Overwatch 2 Watchpoint Pack on a platform on which the beta is available will be granted immediate beta access as soon as the Overwatch 2 beta launches on June 28th at 11 a.m. PDT or wherever the Watchpoint pack is purchased after the beta kicks off. Please note that you are playing a place on, if you are playing on a PlayStation device and opting in through our website, you will need to select, select the region to which your PlayStation Network account was created. Um... Do I need to opt in for the next beta if I opt in the first? Yes, all players opt in the next beta regardless of their opt-in status form. How will I know if I'm selected? Players who are selected through our web opt-in process will receive an invite via email 
Invites will always be sent to the email address associated with your Battle.net account, and we will be sent on a rolling basis. So if you sign up today or anytime before July 14th, their goal is to provide access to everybody. And this pretty much, I mean, from what this says, it seems like it's guaranteed access. So as long as you sign up, then you'll get in. Okay. So Overwatch 2 beta frequently asks questions. Uh, the next Overwatch 2 beta is on its way. It will include a console support, Junker Queen, and Rio, a hybrid map to home to Lucio's Clube Sinciestal. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, it's probably the club inside. Uh, the next phase of testing is slated to begin June 28th at 11 a.m. PDT and run until July 18th. Oh, wait. Okay, so as long as you sign up even during the beta, like you most likely will get in. That's crazy. Please keep in mind that the end date may be extended based on what our testing needs are at the time. Okay. They didn't extend the first one, but I mean, you know. Uh, the beta will be available on PC, Xbox, and, and PlayStation consoles. We will be expanding the beta to more platforms. Uh, so get fucked, Switch. Uh, all players, including those who previously had access, will opt into uh, starting June 16th at 11 a.m. PTT. Okay. We are here to answer some of your questions. I had access to the Overwatch 2 beta. Okay, we already have answered that one. How will I get access? We already answered that one. Uh, so what platforms is available? The beta run on Overwatch 2 on PC, Xbox, PlayStation consoles, except China, Russia, and Belarus. Actual platform availability, launch dates, and duration of Overwatch 2 beta, subject to change. Okay. How are beta participants selected an opt-in pool. Beta participants are chosen from our Overwatch beta opt-in pool based on a variety of factors. This can include, but not limited to, your Battle.net region and the platform you're opting in. We will also be inviting select journalists and community contributors from around the world to participate. How will I be known if I select... Okay, we did that already. Uh, will any of the progress I make during the beta carry over to the live game? No, no progress during the beta will carry over to the live game. Uh, will Mac users participate in the beta? We're developing Overwatch 2 for Windows-based PC only. Get fucked, Apple users. Um, what are the PC system requirements for the Overwatch 2 beta? Okay, and then this is the system requirements. Okay, cool. So, Overwatch 2 is coming this October. Get a head start on the Overwatch 2 Watchpoint pack. Oh, this is the Watchpoint pack. This is what it was talking about. Uh, the home base of your new gameplay experience, which features everything you need up to to get started on Overwatch 2 on day one. Upon launch in October, you will receive the following Overwatch 2 in-game content. Season one premium battle pass. Okay, so by, by, by buying this, you immediately get season one of the battle pass for free. Okay, two, two, two legendary hero skins. Okay, so the second thing is you get two hero uh, legendary hero skins. Space Raider Cassidy and Space Raider Soldier 76. Wait, that seems kind of lit. Um, 2,000 Overwatch 2 virtual currency and an early purchase of, or an early purchase exclusive Overwatch 2 player icon. So you get, well, I mean, we don't actually know how much this is going to cost or how much 2,000 tokens is. So uh, it could be good. So that is Space Raider Cassidy and Space Raider Soldier 76. Hey, yo, those actually look pretty good. Hey, yo, those look pretty good. Caskin is sick, but not worth 40 bucks, LOL. It's, okay, listen, man. It's like going to the grocery store, buying a, a cart full of stuff, and then picking up some bananas and being like, that's not worth 40 bucks. Like, bro, that's not, that's not what it is. Like, like I, under, I hear you. I hear you. But from what it sounds like, it sounds like a decent deal, right? Like, you get the premium battle pass, which a battle pass is luck likely around ten dollars or so. So you immediately get the first season of the battle pass, ten bucks. Two legendary hero skins. We don't know how much legendary hero skins will be. Um, so the two skins are cool. Let's say they're five bucks each. Uh, so ten bucks, right? Then the two thousand Overwatch tokens of virtual currency. Following this correctly, if the battle pass is ten dollars. It's probably a thousand tokens, so two thousand tokens, and this is just like it could end up being it could end up being two thousand tokens. But like I'm just like following like what Apex does and like Fortnite does like visually, or in my head, 
I would say that that's probably twenty dollars worth of tokens. Um, and then you get the icon, and then you get all of the old legendary edition skins. So I think this is probably worth it if you don't have the legendary edition of Overwatch right now. Um, otherwise, then it's like kind of you know if you don't like the skins, then it's not worth it. But if you do like the skins, then it's probably worth it. Um, so it's 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 a tough call, but it it does sound like you're going to get. Like, they're not scamming you. Like, you're actually getting what you paid for, if that makes sense. Oh, somebody somebody mentioned this. Someone mentioned this. Um, uh, hello? Anyone anyone see something a little interesting here? See? Okay. You ready? Now it's time for me to shut off all your hype. Why is Busan a hybrid map? So this is the look we got of the Battle Pass. Do you notice something very interesting? It says free and it says premium. What that typically means is that uh, premium would be the paid battle pass. Free is the free battle pass. So by leveling up the free battle pass, you would get this, this, and this. And chat, before people freak out and they're like, Oh, like, that's just reused. Like, it already exists. No, they're probably just not showing you some of the redesigns. Like, they're just not showing you what the new skins is. Like, do you think the the old Tracer skin is the is the first level 10 premium? I doubt that. This is, this is most likely to hold back what they have and are used as placeholders. It's the same reason why I think Hanamura being as an escort map later on is actually a placeholder. For something else, not actually Hanamura as an escort map. Does that make sense? But the important thing, though, is this shows you that there's 10 tiers. So it looks like there's 10 tiers. This is page one. So it goes up to level 100. Actually, yeah, okay. So it goes to level 100. Um, and it also means that if you don't buy the battle pass, you'll still get things for free. So even if you don't want to ever spend a single dollar on the game, you will still get things for free. And I don't know if you'll get currency for free, so you could buy the battle pass if you wanted, or buy skins. But this means you will still get things for free. You won't get everything, and that's okay. That is how life works. Um, if you want to pay for every skin in the game, I hope you have a very good job. Uh, most people aren't going to want to buy every skin in the game, but that doesn't matter because having more content for more people to enjoy is a good thing to have. Not everyone, when you load up a game, should have the exact same skins on. Because if that's the case, that means there's not many good skins, or they're not many released. It's why after every event, everyone has the same skins on. Like, for example, there's a cyberpunk theme, right? Let's say a cyberpunk theme happens, and you're not into cyberpunk. Guess what? You just don't really buy any of the cyberpunk theme ones. No problem. All right. There's one thing, though, I want to point out to you, though, that is actually, like, a big thing. And I, I don't think people, anyone has seen it yet. Do you guys see this thing over here? What's this button? What is this button? Gifting. What does gifting mean? Gifting the battle pass? Gifting skins? Can you sell skins? I don't know. Interesting. This stuff, right? Be this extra awesome legendary skin that you can customize. So, we're concurrently developing quite a few mythic skins. They're going to be released over the seasons. All these. So, from what that sounds like, from what this sounds like, next tier of skins above legendary. We want players to be able to go in there and pick and choose certain. Like this sounds like um, this sounds like our heirlooms. Like getting an heirloom in Apex is like a big deal. Customizable skins. Is kind of nuts. Colors affect decals and weapons. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. Also, weapon inspects. So, uh, yeah, play Overwatch like to troll me on this one. But it turns out it's true. Weapon inspects are real. This is going to be sick. I can't wait to see like other characters having these. They're, they're going to be insane. They're in the gameplay as well. Personally, Okay, so did you just see that? Uh, personally, what I so the knife just—it's like a throwing knife, dude. That is that is actually sick. So you got four twenty-five 
HP. It looks like it's on like a five second cooldown. She's got sh six shots in her gun. Mobile phone must be linked to put in account to play Overwatch 2. Wait, where did you where did you see that? Where did you see that? A mobile phone number must be linked to your Battle.net account to play Overwatch 2. They're putting two factor in just to play the game, period. Not even ranked. Period. Period. Wow. So this is they're there's gonna they're gonna they're trying to do away with Smurfs now. You know what this means though, right? You know what this means, like more than anything, chat, is if you're signing up with a phone number and you end up being a, a dog shit human, you know, you just, just like constantly just like a like a dick to people and you get banned, you're gonna need to have a different phone number. You know, I'm I'm sure there is ways around, obviously, but like that is that is kind of crazy, you know what I mean? And especially for the average Joe, like the average asshat, like you're gonna, they're gonna struggle. It, it's another barrier, which is great. So there was actually a large discussion for a long time that you should put uh, two factor um, behind uh, uh, ranked, and I guess they're just gonna go full blast, and you need to have it even play the game. That's wild. That's actually wild. IMO should only be competitive. They don't give a fuck. They're going all all in. And honestly, I think that's a decent idea. Uh, it's to keep Smurf accounts from happening, you know? Banners. That's pretty cool. But that wasn't what I went <gasps> at. That's lit. Banner emote? Yeah, we can probably put the banner on the ground and leave it. You know what I mean? Keep going. There's more. There's more? Yo! Wait, our taunts! It's the taunts! <laughs> yes! Wait, oh, you, hang on, you guys can't see it, sorry, I'm in the way, my bad. Look at it. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Wait, they do, they did it again! Nah! 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 Not again. <laughs> that social team is fucking mean, dude. I don't know. What did I do? Why do they like to troll me? Like, what did I do? Holy hell, dude. I can't believe this. It's actually happening. It's finally actually all happening. Dude, I can't believe it. You know what's you know it's a weird day? Okay, real talk, like really quick. You know it's a weird day when the the slowest part of the news is what the new hero's kid is. <laughs> it's a very weird fucking day. I want to I want to look at this again, okay? Hang on, let's take a look closer look. Know, to be able to swing that thing around is awesome. It's always great to have some sort of anchor point to make sure we really incorporate this axe into her abilities. What is this? Do you notice this chat? Like, she's like... She's sparking. So th that's gotta be the wound, right? The wound effect? Oh my god, it's a bleeding effect. You're right. Imagine getting bleed and then uh, dynamited. <laughs> Just fucking hell on earth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Her secondary we call Jagged Blade. If you do your quick melee attack, she will kind of swing with the blade instead of a normal punch. Um, it does a little bit of extra damage and creates a wound on the enemy. So she can throw the blade as her secondary. So her. Very fire. Yep, that's. It actually does whole. Wait, did she shoot before that too? Because that does and a good amount really of damage. The shotgun shot didn't do shit. A great sort though. of skill shot to be able to land on that enemy. Oh, he's not so hitting him. Enemy, okay. can land it. And after you throw it, She'll recall it, and it the force of recalling it, uh, if it's stuck into somebody, will actually pull them forward. Dude, it, it's literally hybrid Roadhog. So she can actually kind of pull people to herself if you can manage to stick that blade into somebody. For Trekker Queen's ultimate, we have an ability called Rampage. She creates this kind of whirlwind of magnetized metal, including her weapons, 
and it whirls around her and then she dashes forward and you try to go through as many enemies as possible and tag them all up. That also wounds everybody, which is really important because it, it's very easy to hit them with this large area effect, so it heals you for a lot, but also... Holy hell, that was so fast. Look at how far so she traveled, that's up. real speed. It also wounds everybody, which is really important because it, it's very easy to hit them with this large area effect, so it heals you for a lot, but also it creates a debuff on the enemies that reduces the healing that they receive to zero. Our sound designer has done an incredible- So, he reduces the healing they get to zero. It means anti. Uh, if it's stuck into somebody, we'll actually pull them forward. So, so okay. It's, it's not, like, it's not great to- herself, like, you, you cannot, like, that see that much. To be, be but, her shotgun looks really cool. Personally, what I'm most excited about. Like, do you see the shotgun shot? Like, it's like, a. Uh, it's not like a, it doesn't look, is it a slug? Nature, and we wanted for that to be represented in our gameplay as well. I want to slow this down. I want to watch, oops. I want to watch the background. Personally, what I'm most... Okay, so it looks like there's a small spread of it. So it is a shotgun blast. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's actually that... It actually doesn't look like it's that crazy. Uh, damage-wise. But it looks fun. Like, all of her power... Pretty much comes through all of her, uh, her kit, if that makes sense. But that's kind of seems like the route they're going for with most of the new tanks is like their primary fire doesn't do a ton, but their cooldowns are like crazy. A little confused. Are all the unopened loot boxes going to be sent to the shadow realm? Um, I mean, okay. So the way it technically works on the back end is that when you get a loot box, it automatically already knows what you have. You just have to open it. So I'm assuming whenever that happens, it's just going to, you just get everything that's inside them. I don't know how currency will work. I don't know if it's going to transfer over or something like that. I doubt it. Um, I guess we'll kind of see. But yeah, pretty much. Well, it's, we don't know yet how that'll work. I'm on fire. Did you already check out Jester Sombra and General Doom skins in game? They're in Overwatch 1? Like, right now? Oh, shit! It actually show. Wait. So, on the, on the top screen, it doesn't show anything. But underneath, it does. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, so this is the new... Oh. The new Doom skin? I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not anything, like, crazy special. But I think it's okay. I think it's okay. And then... Sombra... Okay, that's lit, though. That's pretty good. It's perfect for all the Sombra players. I think the Sombra skin is good. I think the Doom one leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, but... I, it wasn't meant to be, like, a flashy skin, you know? On the new competitive ranking system they kind of touched on if it ends up being like apex so like so for those who don't play apex right apex has a system where um you enter a new rank like you have bronze you have rookie bronze silver gold plat diamond master apex or predator um and so when you hit plat right it's like plat four right and then you have to climb to the top of plat one and Thanks. you can win and lose points throughout that rating. Um, but you don't, like, leave plat. You stay in it, if that makes sense. Um, it's different, though, because you're not as afraid to play. Because, like, there's more of a buffer. I think it's, like, kind of like a, a, like a mental thing. So I'd be totally open to them having, like, a system, a system like that. So do you have to pay to play the beta? No, it doesn't sound like that. Uh, it doesn't sound like that's the case at all. Buying the watch point pack gets you immediate access. We'll be granting access to everyone who signs up over the course of the beta. Everyone who signs up will get a chance to test. Thank you, Andy. So there's your official answer. Buying the watch point pack gets you immediate access. We'll be granting access to everyone who signs up over the course of the beta. Everyone who signs up will get a chance to test. Boom. There it is, the official answer.